Hello guys, I'm Azar and in this video I will show you how to make your own home security system without coding using Rust Verify and PIR motion sensor. So let's get started. Start it. For this project you will need a Raspberry Pi. Here I'm using Raspberry Pi 3 model B and I'm using here a PIR motion sensor. And you will also need three female to female jumper wires. So let's connect our sensor to a Raspberry Pi. Here we have three pins a VCC, out, and ground. So we'll connect here these three jumper wires. right and here the gray one is ground red one is or out and the orange one is the vcc so here in the raspberry pi we have around 40 pins i will show you a picture and the video here i'm just telling you what are these pins so here the pins are starting from here this is pin number one, this is pin number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. So the pin number one is the 3.3 .3 volt pin. This pin number two is the 5 volt pin. This pin number three is the GPIO2 pin. And this pin number four is the 5 volt pin. I will show you the picture. So what will we do? Uh, we will connect the VCC, which is the orange one here to the 5 volt pin as here this is our 5 volt pin so I have connected it now we have the ground so we will connect the ground to the ground and the ground is this third one here it is actually 1 2 3 4 5 6 pin 6 pin is the ground as you can see here and then we will connect the out pin to GPIO 18. So the GPIO 18 is pin 12 and it is this one. So I have connected it to the Raspberry Pi. We'll place it over here like this. Okay. And now we will power up our Raspberry Pi. And our Raspberry Pi is on as you can see. So now let's uh, move into time my devices .com, and I will show you how to set up it. So I am here at can.mydevices.com. I have shown you in the previous video how to add Raspberry Pi to can.mydevices.com. So now we will add a sensor to our Raspberry Pi here. So for this I will click on this add new and click on device or widget and here I will click on this motion and we have this uh, digital motion sensor I will click on this and here uh, this is the name of our widget which is digital motion sensor and from here we will select the device so it is Raspberry Pi and this is the connectivity so it is to integrated general purpose and put an output pins which is uh, simply called GPIO and from here we will select the GPIO pin to which our sensors out pin is connected so uh, as I have connected it to GPIO 18 so here I will select channel 18 and from here we will uh, choose widget so we have these three I will select the motion detector okay and after this I will click on add sensor So our sensor is added here as you can see and this is our motion sensor right so now we will add a trigger to our motion sensor so for trigger I will click on this trigger and we will drag 
or Raspberry Pi from there to here and we will select trigger which is the digital motion sensor right and the trigger will be when the digital motion sensor is on so then do what we will again drag our Raspberry Pi here and we will select action for example uh, we have these three options send a notification restart device or shutdown device so let's click on send a notification here and uh, let me click on this uh, send text message for example and add a recipient and I will I will enter my phone number here right and after this we will save it and before this we will have to name this trigger so it will be for example send message okay and let's click on save so our trigger is now save so as you can see our motion sensor is off now let me show you how it responds when we move something in front of it So as you can see here our sensor is working and now let me show you the demo so here these are my phone's messages this is the can.mydevices.com uh, website and this is our sensor and the Raspberry Pi so now if I move my hand in front of the sensor as you can see here the sensor is on and now we will receive a message So as you can see here we have received one message at 616 these are previous messages when I was testing this and here this is our message channel DEV something like that and this is connected to Raspberry Pi it is received at 616 on this stat and here we have again received another message it is also on 616 and now our sensor is off so it is not sending us messages so this was the project i hope that you will have liked this video if you like it so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you